I bet you didn't know that you wanted to spend your afternoon with me in my bathroom. Welcome to my bathroom. And Happy New Year, everyone. I don't know about you, but the beginning of the year, I always do a huge declutter as much as I possibly can, mainly because I'm feeling extremely overwhelmed with how much stuff we brought in from Christmas. <sighs> I'm just, I'm done. But then also, I like to start the new year clean, fresh as possible. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today, and I've decided to make a mini series out of it. So every Thursday, hopefully at noon, now again, I'm pretty lazy, so we'll see if I actually get it at noon. We're gonna go through at least one room in my house and we're going to declutter it together because you guys really liked how I decluttered my mom's kitchen. So now I'm going to take you through my entire house and get rid of a little bit at a time. Um, and every Thursday at noon, we're going to declutter one room and clean it. So today we're gonna to start with the bathroom. I suggest that everybody starts with their bathroom because it's easy decisions. Hopefully you aren't storing very many sentimental items in your bathroom. So let's get those out and put them somewhere safer. Um, but also the bathroom, I think, is where you get yourself ready. So let's start your day off with um, a clean, happy space. Now I will start off by saying I have been doing this for almost six years now, five years, five or six years. I don't know. My first major declutter was whenever my son was first born. I mean, it was his first new year. So he was almost one years old and he's going to be six years old. So five years now. Um, I've been doing it for five years and I feel like I've gotten better at it, but I am not a perfection or professional perfectionist. Well, I am a perfectionist, but, um, I'm not a professional minimalizer declutter or anything. I just like to do it. And I thought I would bring you along with me. So let's put on your sweats. Let's get our favorite choice of caffeine and let's get started. Now in my last declutter video, I've got a lot of people say that they wish I was going to go slow. So I really am going to try to slow this down and like explain what I'm getting rid of and why I'm getting rid of it. And um, yeah, hopefully that helps. So first things first is we're just gonna go through and gather up the trash, because if you're like me, you have multiple of the same bottle, or <laughs> I'm guilty of it too, and you just don't ever get around to throwing it away. So that's our first, got my trash bag here. I have an empty bottle of body wash. I know there's an empty bottle of, well, it's almost empty, but uh, see, I it's, uh, this is proof that I even struggle with it too. I thought this was empty, but there's actually a little bit left in there. So I'm going to first put this in the front so that I can actually see it. I'm going to use it to next time I take a shower, either tonight or tomorrow. And then otherwise I'm going to throw it away after that. Um, other than that, this is something I bought to wash my face and it worked the first couple of times, but since there's like holes in it, it started to stink. So I'm gonna throw that away. Um, let's see here, shampoo, conditioner. Oh look, my husband has two bottles of body wash and this one's empty so we can throw that one away if you haven't lately this is a good time to go ahead and replace these i just replaced these pretty recently so i'm not going to do that today and then next step is i'm going to go through the kids toys in the back um i don't think there's anything in here is worth keeping um, i can maybe give this to someone my son used to use that but now he's kind of gotten over the fact well i say he's gotten over the fact of getting water in his eyes he is not but he is not as bad as he used to be where he needed that. But some of this other stuff we can definitely throw away. In this case, I know what the kids play with and what they don't, and I just wanted to make it easier for, get, for them to get to the toys that they actually do play with, so whenever they want the one at the bottom, they're not spilling all the toys out. So let's make this easier on them. Okay, we're done in here. And already we are not even five minutes in and my shower is done. Oh, my sock just got wet. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna uh, tell you what all I kept and the reasons that I kept. Okay, so my husband only uses these four products, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, face wash. I use all of these every single time, except for this one. I only use it whenever my scalp is really, really dry. I have a little bit left. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that, but I'm gonna move it to the front. I have shampoo, conditioner, body wash, face wash, for my razor, my hairbrush, and feminine wash. And then this is for my dry scalp. Then we have our loofahs. I keep 
one ponytail holder in here, but I like to put the rest in there or away. With the For the kids' toys, I just use the container method. So this is the container that they're gonna stay in as long as I, they all fit comfortably in here and I'm not trying to get the one at the bottom and the rest of them fall out, then it's pretty good. These toys are consistently played with, so I'm happy about that. On the other side, I keep it pretty clear, except for the kids' soap, and then they like to play with bubbles while they're in the bathtub. So that's all the toys. And then um, I'm gonna keep decluttering, and at the end, I'm going to deep clean the entire bathroom. Okay, now some people will say that if your family is not on the decluttering journey with you and is reluctant, then don't push them. Um, my family <laughs> is not uh, keen on decluttering, but I do it for them anyway because my husband lets his drawer get like this, even though I know he really likes it to be organized. So I know he likes it whenever I do this, he just won't do it himself. So I do go against what the other decluttering professionals say and I do do it for my spouse and my kids but that's just me if your husband is the type of person that would push against you then by all means don't push him but I'm gonna do this for my husband and I'll talk to you through what I'm going to do and what I'm not so we did just come home from vacation and a lot of things just kind of got thrown in here and he doesn't realize that I have a different home for some of these things so like I personally just keep all my toiletries packed in their toiletries bag at all times. I have like travel size of everything and I just kind of refill the travel size bottles whenever I'm ready, but I don't know about you, whenever I'm getting ready to go on vacation, the packing the toiletries, if that's already like done, then that's one thing off my to-do list because um, I get stressed out before vacation. So my husband didn't realize that that's what I do, so I am gonna put all of his travel size toiletries back in here and then we'll sort through, cause I know there's some empty bottles in here cause that's what he always does. Um, we'll sort through and see what else we can get rid of. So same with these, these have a different home. So we're gonna put the- From this point, I pretty much just empty out the drawer, sorting as I go, and then we'll put it back in there in a nice orderly fashion whenever I'm done. I said I was gonna clean towards the end of the video, but I'm not gonna put things back in there looking like this, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this out. In case you're wondering, I get pretty much all of my drawer organizers from the Dollar Tree, and you'll see some other drawer organizers that I got from the thrift store, but I will link to the exact ones that I have down below in case you need some for your storage solution, because even though I do like to find them at thrift stores, sometimes you just gotta go ahead and buy off of Amazon what you need at the moment. Okay, here's another example, empty bottle that he just has to throw it away, so we're gonna throw that away for him. I don't think he's ever used this in like years. Um, I'm gonna put it in my time will tell bin. So a time will tell bin is if like you're not sure if you can get rid of it or not, you can put it in this bin. So for this, I'm gonna put it in my bin and if my husband asks for it within a week, then I'll give it back to him. But if he doesn't, then I'm gonna assume that he doesn't use that product anymore. So that's what we're doing. I'm really not used to this. So I end up like throwing something away and then I'm like, oh wait, I didn't explain why I threw that away. Anyway, so these were sitting in the back of the drawer and I don't think he has used them since I put them in the back of the drawer. So I'm going to throw them away. Um, if he asks for those again though, um, they're from Dollar Tree, so we can get, well actually they're the free ones that come with glasses, but I know that you can get them from Dollar Tree, so that's no big deal. Now he has had this for years and I know he, every single time I try to declutter it, he tells me, no, I'm gonna save it. So I'm gonna put that in the time will tell bin again and see if he asks for it. Now, my main goal of doing this in a lot slower pace than I usually record is that you will body double along with me. So body doubling is the concept of just doing it with someone. Whenever you're with someone and watching someone else do it or have someone doing it with you, then you're more likely to get rid of more. So yes, I am have sort of thinking the same way that you're watching me. So I'm going to use that as a little bit more of motivation to get rid of some extra stuff. But I'm hoping that you will just kind of like prop up your phone or your iPad in the bathroom while you declutter as well to help you get rid of some extra junk that you don't need in your house.
Now, I explain this a little bit more later, but this is our only bathroom. All four of us are using it, but I will say that my stuff is not in here. I instead get ready with, do my hair and makeup and whatnot in our um, bedroom on our dresser with a mirror propped up there. So you won't see me going through too much of my stuff. That'll probably come much later. I feel good about that. Okay, also just wanna mention that um, we're still renovating our other bathroom. So this is four people using one bathroom. <laughs> it's kinda tight, and, but it's a very good sized bathroom. It's also the kids' main bathroom and our guest bath bathroom. So we're, we only have one bathroom, but anyway, <laughs> on to the next cabinet. I'm just gonna work my way across. This is where we keep our towels. Now I do have a linen closet, but, uh, well actually it's a coat closet, but it's very weird place to be a coat closet. So I, I would assume that it's a linen closet, but it's like set up for coats, I don't know. But I don't use it for either one. I use it as my cleaning closet. So this is where I keep my towels. And I have gotten a lot of flack for this before, so please be nice in the comments. I only keep three towels per person and sometimes I think about narrowing it down to two because like I said, this is where they have to stay. They don't have another home. Um, so I have to make sure that it fits in here and the best way to do that is to limit the amount of towels. So I have one to wash, one to use, and one to, as a spare for each person and then this is my hack for cutting down on laundry, but again, some people just think it's really gross and I'm sorry if it, you do. If you do, just move on with life. <laughs> um, otherwise, we use one for three showers and then we wash it and then we use another one for three showers and then we wash it. Otherwise, it gets hung up in between those three showers and it doesn't gross us out. So <laughs> if it grosses you out, I'm sorry, but if you were just like, at ends meet whenever it comes to laundry that's my hack for you is to narrow down your towels and reuse them hang them up and reuse them it you'll be okay <laughs> we're healthy i think anyway so but because of that they do just kind of end up getting shoved in here so i'm going to just speed up this process of me just kind of i don't think there's anything in here that i'm willing to declutter but we'll see Actually, yeah, there is. There's stuff shoved in the back. So maybe if we take the stuff out that's shoved in the back, um, why is that? Uh, then we will uh, be able to fit more towels in here so that I'm not having to cram and shove. And you, a lot of times this door doesn't even close. So let's see what we got back here. We got the kids' washcloths. Yes, I think we can declutter some of these. I'll keep one washcloth per kid. Um, we use loofahs, of which we replace quite often, so I don't think we need this. Let's keep the Spider-Man and the Elsa, and then we'll declutter those. We have some extra towels in here, um, more washcloths, I think I can get rid of those. Um, this is a t-shirt, because there was a phase where I went through and I thought t-shirt was better for your hair, and it might be, but I just use a microfiber cloth. Uh, towel instead, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And then, oh yes, we have the fancy guest towels. Um, so in case the queen ever comes over, I'm prepared with clean white towels. But, and then we have this. Okay, um, <clears throat> again, since I am renovating my bathroom, I think I'm gonna clean, keep the clean white towels and they're just gonna get shoved back into the back again. Down here. And then the extra washcloths and monogram towels that I got for my wedding. Um, I really don't know if I need these or not. I kinda like them, but in all honesty, do I really see myself using them? Honestly, I don't, so we're gonna purge those. I'm gonna keep the two extra hand towels because we do use those. 
And then voila, we have more space for towels now. So I've got my towel, my husband's towel. I wonder if rolling them would actually help. rolling them does work a lot better. I just gotta get in the habit of doing that whenever I put them away. Okay, so there's, I really gotta start doing before and after photos. What am I thinking? Okay, this one's actually not too bad, but like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and use this opportunity to replace toothbrushes just like I would loofahs so let's do that I keep each person's toothbrush and toothpaste right here in the front and I keep spare toothbrushes and toothpaste right there in the back and then a few other necessities over here so let's see what we got here let's throw that away we'll give this one to Lane and then we'll give this one to and throw hers away and then we'll have one for Thaddeus yeah he'd like Captain America better oh and then there's an empty toothpaste tube in here so let's throw that away okay that already got rid of so much that was back there so that was easy um now I'm just gonna take a moment to wipe it all out okay this is where I keep extra little things that you might need for the bathroom um, I don't think we need these combs in here, so I'll get rid of those and let's just clean that out now. Okay, so these next two cabinets are not functioning. Well, this one's functioning just fine, but I think I I really need to be able to fit toilet paper in this cabinet because it's the closest one to the toilet. Um, and it, I can't fit anything in there. So I'm going to need to figure out a new solution for this cabinet in order to get toilet paper in here. <laughs> so ready for the horror music. <laughs> ah! And you guys thought that I wasn't like a real person. <laughs> Okay, like I said, it's, it's really not that bad. You just take a few things out and there's still storage or organization somewhat back there. So, but it's just, there's new things that have come in that we just kind of need to figure out where they go. So, so it's just a matter of like refiguring things out and uh, coming up with a new solution. So let's do that together. Okay, first of all, I know toilet paper needs to go in here and bubbles need to stay in here because it won't fit anywhere else, but we use that in the bath quite often. And like I said, I keep my toiletries bag packed with the essentials at all times. Just kind of top them off whenever it's time to leave. So this one's mine. This one's my husband's. And the kids. We have our hair clippers. This I think can go in the extra shower drawer when I have room for it. I declutter that. Oh, now tell me how did I end up with so many different soap containers? Okay. So one of these, I have three different. One of them belongs in the other bathroom. It just kind of came and landed in here. One of them will go up there. I'm just using my Christmassy ones right now. But then what do I need the third one for? I don't think I do. So I'm going to purge one of them just to spend. I think I'm gonna keep the one that doesn't have any writing on it. I like it better. So let's get rid of that one. This I actually do need to put back in the car, so we'll put that in there. I have this for backup, but we don't use it because 
my husband can't use it and I like my soap better. So I'm gonna get rid of that too. That's empty, why is it in there? Okay, so we have some extra hand soaps, which we will use once we're done with ours. We have one extra hand sanitizer. Again, we will use that too. But now I think these will finally fit back into here, mostly. And then I'm gonna try putting, hold on, I gotta move my hair dryer for a second. Now, if you cannot tell, I love drawers. If I can turn a cabinet into a drawer somehow, I will, or I'll add drawers just so things don't get lost in the back of the cabinet. That way I'm able to pull it out to see what's in the very back instead of just it getting lost back there. So I will use a drawer every chance that I get. If I can't find a drawer, I will make a drawer somehow. See, I was hoping that I could get too wide here but it's not going to work unless it's going on its side, but. Okay, we'll, we'll put this aside for now. And then, no, I don't think this is the one I want to put in here, I think. I think this is the one I'm gonna put back in here. This is obviously just a keychain that I'm not using. We don't even use this kind of hand sanitizer anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and purge that. Okay. Right now I'm just going through this drawer to see if there's anything I need to get rid of in here. Like this, we haven't used in I don't know how long. These were free samples that I'm keeping out of obligation, but I really don't want them. Okay, so I pulled over the drawer from over here that I keep extra shower stuff, but it's also for extra travel toiletries. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the back. <sighs> this is another free sample from Sephora. I should probably use that. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just set it out. And if I don't use it within the next couple weeks, I'm going to go ahead and purge it. But otherwise, if I keep it in here, I'm just gonna forget about it, so what's the point? Okay, this stuff I actually do reuse. My husband, for some reason, thinks that I'm able to take a bubble bath in our teeny tiny bathtub, but the, it's a thought that counts that he got. This is actually for showers, but I'll hold on to these because we just got them for Christmas. Go ahead and get rid of this because I don't know how long it's been in here and it's still in the package. So put the extra loofahs in here, and then I keep a little bit of extra. I just keep this for whenever I'm like completely out of my um, shampoo and conditioner that I do use because I get it from TJ Maxx. And I don't always have time to run to TJ Maxx, so this is what I use in between. So I'm, I'm gonna keep these. Let's just hope and pray that this will close. <gasps> okay, now I think that this is going to be able to give me a little bit of height so that I can actually get to some of the other stuff that. Um, let's see here. Okay, it might take me a little bit of like messing with it to actually figure out a good solution for all of this. So I will go ahead and speed up the fact that I just sit here and stare at this cabinet for quite a while and do pointless reorganizing because um, I couldn't figure out a solution. So I took a break and went on to the next cabinet. think that I can consolidate these two 
and then I won't even need that fourth drawer to fit in there. So let's see what we can get rid of in here. Um, this is literally the current set that I'm wearing. If I'm going to be honest with myself, am I ever actually going to put on or use the rest of these? So I got hung up on these because they're kind of expensive and it really kind of hurt to go ahead and just throw them out. But in all honesty, if I'm really being honest with myself, I used up the ones that I'm going to use and the other ones are too small to cover up my nails. I have pretty large nail beds if you can't tell. Um, so I was like, oh, but they're really expensive. I don't want to get rid of them. But am I ever actually going to use them? Is it worth my space and uh, inventory mentally? Um, to even try to keep them. So I went ahead and decided to purge them. Okay, I bought these for the Bluey party. To be honest with myself, am I going to use them ever again? Probably not. There's some cotton balls. We'll just put those back in the cotton ball bag. Okay, I keep holding on to these masks, I'm thinking I'll, I'll use them someday. I really don't think I'm going to. Oh, the charcoal max I did want to use. So let's keep the charcoal masks and we'll donate this one. Do nail polishes expire? When purging beauty products, I've heard that you just have to be real with yourself and don't keep things for your fantasy self. So your fantasy self is the type of person that would be able to relax and do buccal's amount of makeup and face masks and have a spa day at home. But you know what, as a mom of two and a working mom of two with multiple jobs, I'm never gonna have that time to have a spa day by myself at home. But if I do, then I think it'd be more fun to just like go out and buy a few things that I really wanted to try in that moment. And most of this was free anyway. You know, you get those free samples from, you know, Mary Kay and Sephora and all of the different people are just constantly trying to give you free stuff. So you'll have time to replace it. And maybe if you get your next free sample, then you can have your spa day. But for now, just get rid of it. Okay. I officially consolidated that drawer. <laughs> Only took me forever. But I'm pretty proud of myself for doing that. Um, the things I got rid of were, I got rid of the two duplicates that I had. The ones that I just bought for a party and I'm really never actually going to use. And I'm not even gonna let my daughter use them because she still like eats them off. So I let her use the piggy paints. The piggy paints are supposed to be non-toxic. I got rid of a chapstick that I really don't like the smell of. And this almost empty thing of um, uh, primer. I think I should probably get rid of this too. And an empty thing of this. Yeah, I just looked at it and it was, it's completely gone. So we'll get rid of that as well. I caught myself actually keeping empty containers of stuff because I was like, well, I want to remember with the kind that I got so the next time I go buy it, I'll know what kind. But guess what? Sephora uh, remembers that for you. You can ask them to look it up if that's really the case. So I was like, no, I don't need to do that. I just need to go ahead and just get rid of the trash. Like, look at me, keep trying to keep trash. That's ridiculous. So if you're trying to keep trash, get rid of it. This is my permission. You don't need to keep the trash just to remember something. You won't remember it. Take a picture of it if you really think that's a problem. So sorry, I forgot to hit record. Now, I will say that I did this a couple weeks ago and uh, got rid of all the expired medicines or just medicine that we really would forget that we had and... I try to keep it contained to this, but I also have it extremely well organized. Now I know people say, don't put your medicine in your bathroom, but it is in a drawer, in a cabinet, or no, in the bottle, in the drawer, in the cabinet. Like, <laughs> I don't think moisture is a problem. I don't think it's gonna be a problem. So it hasn't been since uh, we've been doing this and I've been doing this my entire married life and I've been married for seven years now. So. Um, hey, as much as you want, it works for us. Um, anyway, so in this bottom one, I have pain relief, so Advil, Tylenol, Pro, or ibuprofen, and thermometers. 
In this one we have sinus and allergy stuff. This one we have cramps and stomach stuff. And then we have anything that's topical, so band-aids, that's the fullest one because it's full of a lot of brand new band-aids. Band-aids and stuff like that. And then just random miscellaneous stuff that we have had to buy over the years. Um, I keep our toiletries bags in here all packed up. And then we have extra soaps um, back there in that white container. I have the bubbles for the kids bath time, cleaning products and um, other miscellaneous stuff down there. I guess I don't really know what all that is, but I did, what I got rid of was expired stuff, trash, and just things that I honestly am not going to use. And I'm trying my best, I'm really bad at this, but I'm trying to best not to save for what ifs, because if a what if actually does come up, am I actually going to remember that it's back here? Maybe, but the likelihood of keeping something just for a what if and actually needing it, um, it's not worth the stress of having to try to shove things in here, cram things in here and make it work until that what if happens. So um, I'm trying my best to keep, get rid of what ifs or my fantasy self. My fantasy self would be a person that takes bubble baths and does uh, face masks, but I'm a mom and I don't even have a big old bath. So um, I, I'm trying not to keep that stuff either. I did keep my bath bombs because the kids like to play with those. Um, but there's also like shower bombs in there, which I could use. Um, so maybe I'll use those this week since I've been reminded that they're in there. And you know, I'm saving those for a special occasion, but really when is that special occasion going to come? Just use them. A Saturday or a Tuesday can be a special occasion. So treat yourself. <laughs> Now that the shower is decluttered, the cabinets are all cleaned out, and I think the rest of the room, I need to put away some Christmas decorations, obviously. Um, those are, that's where we keep our towels. I would keep the kids' towels right here, but then it's just in the way of the hand towel, so that's where they're going until me and Lane get our bathroom done, and then those will move there, and I'll get rid of that. Um, as far as the counter, we have a box of tissues, soap, a candle, some decor, and then this is where we keep um, floss, um, cotton swabs, all that. Um, so I don't think there's much to declutter. Well, I, I say I'm going to go ahead. So my daughter's uh, potty seat is right here. And then we had this thing where we kept books for a little bit. But now that she's fully potty trained, I don't think we need to keep books to entertain her long enough to, you know, do her business. So I think we can put the books back in her room. There's actually a storage place for wipes on top of the potty seat. So I'll shove those in there. And then we'll, I don't know what we'll do with this, but we'll figure out a new home for it. Okay, so we have a bag of trash right there a bag of donate where it's like mostly towels or a few towels but then other like almost full products that I think I can donate to a women's shelter and then this little pile is just a pile of stuff where I need to find a different home for it. So even though the pile is really small I think it made a big difference. Now I have to just deep clean. Oh, I hate cleaning a bathroom but anyway let's do that. A very well needed as we are getting over being sick. I needed to clean this bathroom so bad, but don't give me too much um, hate in the comments because I don't know how to clean. Nobody ever taught me. My mom either did it for us growing up or hired a maid. And um, I honestly am just kind of figuring things out. My go-to cleaner is baking soda and vinegar. I'll use Clorox wipes or a few things that I've gotten for free off of Grove. But other than that, if anybody has cleaning tips, I'll, I'm open for them because I don't know how to get some of this stuff off. And there you have it, a decluttered 
clean bathroom to start us off with 2024. It has taken me quite a while to get to this point of being able to fit everything for four people into this one bathroom. Now I will say like, yeah, it's not super empty, but it is not super full. That's for sure too. And uh, that wasn't the case whenever me and Lane first got married. Uh, we had one bathroom for two people and it was packed full. So I've actually made a lot of progress. And so this is my encouragement that if you start now and just making a little progress here and there, you will eventually get to a point. It, I think decluttering is like an onion. You just gotta peel back the layers and keep peeling until you get it figured out and what works out for your family. And there you have it, one room done out of the whole rest of the house to go. <laughs> um, but I will try to get this out every Thursday at noon, so be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below what is the hardest thing for you to declutter in a bathroom? And then um, what are you most excited for to see me declutter here in the near future? So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.